Now, I know a lot of you have a ton of questions involving this virus, so we are speaking this morning with Good Morning America's Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Thank you so much for making time for us, Dr. Ashton. Um, first of all, let's just lay out what is coronavirus? This is not new. That's absolutely correct, Sonia, and it's a pleasure to be with you guys in Dallas. The coronaviruses have been around since the 1960s. Most of the time they infect animals, but several strains definitely infect humans and they cause kind of mild common cold symptoms. Occasionally they can cause pneumonia. And the reason that people are so concerned from a public health standpoint is this is a new or novel coronavirus, so we don't really know how it behaves. It's already demonstrated that it's kind of changing and evolving, spreading from animals to humans now, human to human. And we have to put this into historical context. SARS and MERS, which came with a very high fatality rate back in 2002 and 2012 also in the same coronavirus family. Well you mentioned symptoms so let's talk about that because they are substantially similar to those of a cold or a flu so what differentiates this and will the flu vaccine protect against this? So the flu vaccine is only effective against influenza, so the answer to that is no. But the symptoms of coronavirus can be difficult to distinguish between any other circulating upper respiratory virus right now. So basically it's fever, cough, some chest pain, um, and most importantly with coronavirus right now in the United States, it's a history of travel to China, in particular to Wuhan, in the last two weeks. So that education, that travel history, very, very important in tracking this virus. Yeah, and of course, something that's big that we've been talking about here, of course, is that uh, possible case in Texas. It's uh, near us in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. What precautions do people really need to take, whether they're here or they're traveling through airports like LAX, San Francisco, JFK? The CDC says, of course, we should expect more cases. Absolutely, and, and we do expect that. Um, you know, common sense precautions, very effective here. Hand hygiene, washing your hands often, not touching your face, nose and mouth, avoiding contact with sick people, staying home if you are sick. And again, for regular U.S. population, the risk is thought to be low at this point, but we are gonna continue to follow this. It's evolving and dynamic situation. Okay, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you so much. And of course, you'll have more on Good Morning America right after our show. We appreciate it.